Good evening everyone, Diamond Peter here. Um, it is Wednesday the 9th of August and it is 6.18 at night, 6.18 p.m. I decided to come in and do this video with you now because um, I'm supposed to be going to mum and dad's tomorrow afternoon, so, um, which as I've said before in my other videos, it takes me about three hours to get there and I'm not gonna feel like filming anything when I get there, so. So I'll do this tonight with you and then um, there'll be another video next week for Timu. So, um, I had, um, a lovely subscriber. Um, I won't say her name because I don't know if she wants her name mentioned on here, but she was asking me about sealing, um, sealing my diamond paintings. She wanted to know if I would do a video showing how I seal my, my items. And I'm happy to do that. Um, probably won't be for another week or two, but I will try and, you know, get one done if I can. But I just wanted to show you this one. So this is my beautiful peacock purse. I did seal this one this morning because I want to start using it. And what I used on this one was this Boil Gloss Spray Clear Finishing Sealer. Now it's acid free. Now I got this at a shop here in Australia. I don't know if it's available anywhere else or if it's something there's something similar in other countries, I don't know. But I got this at Bunnings here in Australia. So um, it's, it tells you it's for art paintings, petal porcelain decoupage, artificial dried flowers, paper towel, yeah, etc., etc. So, um, and photographs. So it's quite safe for everything. And that's, and I, and as you can see, the diamond painting itself, or the diamonds have not lost their shine. Even the, um, the ABs down here still have their, their beautiful glitter. So. Yeah, so that's the one I use on a lot of my special projects. The bigger ones um, would take probably, would you could probably use this on the bigger ones as well. And I've got a, still got a fair bit left and I've had this can for a long time. So yeah, so that's what I use on my most of my special projects. That's what I'll be using on things like my coasters, etc. And I also bought this Crystal Art. It's from Crystal, Crystal Buddy, is it Crystal Crystal Buddy, oh sorry, I need to have a look. Oh, I can never get that name right. I always get that name mixed up. Chris, uh, Craft Buddy, Craft Buddy Crystal Art. So Craft Buddy bought this sealer out that I saw on um, a fellow diamond painting um, channel. But um, I can't open this. It's, it is so stuck. I don't know whether the glue leaked in postage like when it was sent out but you can see the glue underneath it if anyone has any ideas um you can see it it all underneath you can see the, the glitter and the shimmery glue so um yeah i've tried running it under hot water my partner can't even get it open and I t he's a big man so yeah i don't know what to do with it i don't want to waste it because i i think it's still okay in there but i just yeah, I don't know how to open it, but when I when I if I do get it open, and, and I didn't contact them because I didn't realise it was like that until I've not long gone to use it, and it's been too long in between me uh, getting the package and letting them know, and I don't like to do that sort of thing. So I may order another one and try it, but yeah, so I haven't tried that, but I believe it's very good. And this one here I've had for a long time. It's Mod Podge. I don't use that anymore. It was awful. Um, Mod Podge is not one of my favourites at all. It took the shine off the diamonds. I did some, I don't have them here with me, but I did some Grinch key rings for, or key chains for my Christmas tree, decorations for my Christmas tree last year. And it took the shine off the diamonds. I was very disappointed in this one. So I will not use that for that at all anymore. It's, it's very disappointing. So yeah. So I, that's what I use on these special projects, that spray. But yeah, I'm happy to do a video um, as soon as I get another sealer because that one I can't open. Um, and and I've just been using that spray one on all my projects at the moment. So, But um, yeah, I just take them out the back because um, you don't do it inside, obviously. It's too toxic. It stinks really bad anyway. But I take them out the back and I lay them on some cardboard on top of a clothes dryer, like a, you know, a clothes area. And I just spray them on that and 
I just leave them for a couple of minutes out there to dry and then I bring them in and just put them on my desk in the craft room here like I did with this one this morning and it's not sticky at all it's yeah so that that will be ready for me to use but yeah beautiful I love I love um the colors in that and it's still very as, you, as I said it's still very sparkly so that's yeah so that's um that's that and I will certainly do a video when I get some more seal up to show you how I seal my other diamond paintings so all right let's get into this second crystal art not crystal art crystal creations unboxing so this is and I'm going to bring you up a fraction this is the other one that I got so this um, again it's on the canvas the wooden frame sorry 15 and a half thousand crystals it's a 50 by 40 it comes with the tray the wax the pen with the snowflake up the top the crystals and the bags and this one is the Eiffel Tower this one again is only a partial it's a partial um, yeah it's just called Eiffel Tower so okay I will endeavor to open this if I can I love these canvases but oh they're, they're all put together the box sometimes it makes it a bit hard I've packed the other one away because I'm not going to do that just yet I'm going to do that later on so <clears throat> again we have our key that's very small over here but we have one that comes in the bag so I'm happy with that comes on the, the canvas on the board so I'm just going to open this up quickly show you what's in here so how's everyone doing I hope you're all having a lovely morning night evening wherever you are um, I've actually had my dinner I had an early dinner my partner's away for work at the moment so um, it's just Willow and myself Willow and my dog or our dog and myself so it's just us spending for ourselves for a couple of nights so I've just had my dinner because I wanted to eat early because I'm so tired I think I'll be going to bed early tonight so it comes with then I've just opened I've just ripped the bag again that sticky tape on that is really strong but that's okay so I've just ripped the bag the <laughs> the bag open so you get the pen with the crystal on the top and the snowflake it's just a single place a pen and we have our white tray that we put our diamonds in and our wax now for anyone that's new to diamond painting I don't know if anyone's new or not um, you peel the plastic off the wax there's plastic on both sides and you push your pen into the wax and the wax goes in the pen and that's how you pick your diamonds up and some baggies which I always love because you know and I've told you before that I work mostly from baggies and I'm dropping the wax sorry I need to pick that up because I have a dog <laughs> who uh, likes to chew on things she's still a puppy guys she's only 18 months old and she chews chews on anything that's on the floor all right excuse the crinkling for a minute and there's some diamonds that have just fallen out of the bag. I must have ripped the bag. Okay. Oh, these. So these are shiny diamonds. These are special. There's some special diamonds and some rhinestones. So there's the picture again. The colours. There's 28. 28 and that looks like a special again we don't have the DMC numbers on that but I um, DMC numbers for crystals are um, I think I believe are different anyway so yeah I think the crystals have their own no I don't know whether they have their own code or not but anyway so that's the front of the bag so you've got the letter there that corresponds on your chart so if you're placing if you look at R there, you go here and you go and find R, which is all the way down here. 
that's number 27 and you'll be placing R that color for R on your chart on your canvas so we've got some beautiful clear that's a very plain champagne color a pale pink and an even paler pink and we have a beautiful big bag of pretty pink that's a pretty pink we have more pinks oh this must be reminds me of paris in spring you know how we, we did the london in spring yesterday well that's what this one reminds me of very pale pink very very that's a pretty pink that's that's almost like a pinky lilac a pinky purple beautiful we'll get to those in a minute oh there's lots in this one guys wow so we've got a purple and another beautiful purple that's gorgeous that's um i don't know if you can see that that's a really it's an unusual color that one very pretty a golden yellow another yellow two more pinks wow how many shades of pink can you get oh my goodness anyone that likes pink this kit is for you beautiful lemon yellow a brown you can I don't know if you can see that, but it's brown. Green. We have a black with the silver on the back, so it's not a normal black. We have a very dark blue. Beautiful green. Hmm, that's a very unusual ready colour. Yeah, unusual. Then we've got blue. These diamonds, the bags, these diamond bags look a bit dusty inside, guys. So I may need to um, wipe the diamonds or wash the diamonds before I use them. That's another brown. That's another very pale yellow. I can see the dust in the bag. I don't know if you're getting picking that up, but there's definitely dust. You can see it up here. There's dust in them. That's a clear, another clear. I thought we had a clear. Maybe that was something else. And we have actually, I don't know whether that's clear or whether it's a very, very pale yellow. No, it's pink. I think it, I don't know. Sorry, guys, I've got no idea. Uh, hot pink, green. That's a, a yellowy, orangey colour. That's a very, very pretty sort of dark champagne colour. It's almost like a brown. That's plain black normal black which will have 310 written on it yes because it's black and that's a very 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 pale yellow very pale and then we have some specials and these are both the same yep so they're both the same so they're these large clear and they're both the same again i can see the dust on the drills and I can see the dust in the bag. So I think sometimes these have been in the warehouse for quite a while and of course the dust collects in them. I guess that happens sometimes with these types of paintings. Now, I'll show you the canvas. Let's see if we can see. Ooh, that's pretty. All right, so this looks like, almost like a cherry blossom or a blossom tree of some sort. I don't know, I'm assuming maybe they have those sorts of blossom trees in Paris. I don't know, but I've been to Paris, but I, don't, I haven't been when these were out. So that's that. all that side there is done. Down here is not done. So it looks like watercolour paint down the bottom there. The people are done. All of these lights here are done. That's where some of the... Oh, sorry, I'm out of focus. That's where some of the special diamonds are going to go in these lights. And then the tops of the flower up here. But the sky is not done. The Eiffel Tower is done, but it's done. The outline of it is done. Can you see? I don't know if that's focusing properly. See the outline of it all? You can see the outline of the Eiffel Tower. So, yeah. That's very pretty. I like that. I hope you can get a pretty good look at that. It's not bad for a partial. There's still a fair bit to diamond paint on that. Um, again, we've got the glittery canvas, so it's all all shiny, very sticky. So even down here, 
it's all glittery even the sky it's all glittery I don't know if that will pick that up you can see that shine but yeah it's um see the shine in that very pretty I like that I love that um I did I have been to Paris and went up to the top of the Eiffel Tower so um and my my dad's side of the family are French so um yeah so I have a fascination with all things French so <sighs> lovely I love that one that's going to be beautiful I can't wait to start this one actually <laughs> and knowing it's crystals as well I'm so excited that's going to look beautiful I just love how this looks down here looks like the water painted it's beautiful there's a seat here a little chair here seat you can see the row of trees and then you've got over here you've got the lamps so beautiful I love it gorgeous all right so excited okay I so as I said I I went and saw went to France or Paris and saw the Eiffel Tower and I also went to London so that was another reason why I bought the um the London one as well because I've been to both of those places and they have a special place in my heart because I absolutely loved it it was one of the best trips of my life so yeah would definitely love to get back there one day but you, you know, we never know I guess I also went to Wales and I loved Wales we stayed in Cardiff stayed in Cardiff overnight and um went to Barry Island which is where Gavin and Stacey the tv show um was filmed which is one of my all-time favorite shows love Gavin and Stacey and um went to Barry Island where some of it was filmed and I was oh I was in seventh heaven I was so excited <laughs> it was um my yeah on my bucket list and my dream come true and um and then and to go up the Eiffel Tower I've always wanted to go up the Eiffel Tower ever since I was a little girl so oh, memories so that was lovely <laughs> all right guys well that's all I have for you um thank you so much for popping in to um have a look at this last unboxing from crystal creations um oh, well, it won't be the last one i'm sure there'll be others but this was all i had in the shop at the moment when i got these ones but i'm sure i'll keep my eye out and um i'm sure there will be others <clears throat> but as i said i have a timu order coming next week and i think oh it might be it might come friday it's either coming friday or monday but i won't be here anyway i'll be at mum and dad's i think so um i'll just quickly tell you how many diamond painting products i have in my timu order i have a couple of rings which i'm excited about because they're pretty rings i have some christmas bookmarks i have one two three three canvases so uh, one's a 40 by 30 one's a 29 by 29 i don't know why they didn't just didn't say 30 but anyway that's odd and 30 by 40 I have some stickers, I have some keychains, and I have a bookmark, another bookmark, a different one. And I have some glow-in-the-dark diamonds to go on my Gamer diamond painting that I've showed you in another video. And I've ordered some coasters that look like records for my brother to make for Christmas. So I'm, I'm excited about that. I'm, <laughs> I'm looking forward to this order so much. So... As soon as it comes, you know that I'm going to definitely be doing an unboxing. Okay, I'm going to leave you. I'm going to go and relax for the night. And um, I hope you've all enjoyed this. Um, please like if you don't mind. Subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much to all my subscribers. I've got some new subscribers. And um, it's just been lovely. I've, I love chatting with you. I love... Um, if I'm, I'm sorry if I don't comment straight away. I get home from work and sometimes I go to comment and then I get sidetracked and I completely forget so please don't think I'm ignoring you um, I will certainly get back to you with a comment um, I read every single one of your comments and I take them on board if it's advice or if it's something that you tell me that you try or something I love that because that's what this community is about we all help each other and um I just love this diamond painting community and all the craft, not only diamond painting, but craft in general, anything craft, um, whether it be cross stitch, resin, um, paint by number, anything, 
even knitting or crocheting. I don't knit or crochet, but I'm, I love watching videos of people doing all those sorts of things as well because I just love craft in general. So, yeah, it's a great community and um, I'm glad to be a part of it. So thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you in my next video very soon. Have a nice night or day wherever you are, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.